Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to do a deep dive into Falcon. He just recently got a buff that has made him a utility god. And we'll discuss a little bit uh, of the places that I find him the most useful. Uh, and we'll, you know, look at his abilities in more depth, uh, synergies and all that good stuff. So let's start with the attributes here. Uh, keep in mind, I'm running suicides, uh, but here's his health. You see his attack over there. Um, let's take a look here at his attributes. Critical rating is 29. Critical damage rating is 184. However, that does not tell the whole story because Falcon has abilities that will raise both of those. And we will get into that uh, in a little bit. Uh, armor penetration, block penetration, critical resistance. He has none of those things. He does have some armor rating uh, and block proficiency. Now, uh, I usually look at those two together because the block proficiency might be a little low, but then the armor rating may make up for it a little bit. But in practice, that's the best way to uh, see. Uh, he still takes a, a good bit of damage. Uh, so I don't know if it actually compensates for a low block proficiency having you know the armor rating all right let's uh take a look at the synergy bonuses here now first of all all the synergy bonuses give plus three percent attack rating so anybody that you bring on the team uh that's a synergy has a synergy with him uh will increase attack rating so we've got thor um ragnarok here and a mystery synergy that adds armor rating we've got uh, uh war machine and black widow adding critical rating we've got vision and black panther also adding critical rating we've got winter soldier and ronin adding critical damage we've got ant-man and hawkeye increasing your perfect block chance and we've got um, Ebony Maw in Cull Obsidian uh, doing a straight 9% attack rating. Now, I think the reason that they have just that one is because all of them give plus three. And these two probably do an additional 6% attack rating. So they just combine them all. Uh, we've got uh, Cap. All the captains, uh, they add 4% health and 7% attack rating. Uh, we've got, um, we've got uh, Stealth Spidey and we've got uh, Hulk Ragnarok adding 5% perfect block chance. Uh, and of course, the 3% uh, attack rating. So there's 3% attack rating in everyone. And then on top of that, they get something else. Uh, some just do extra attack and some do extra health and attack uh, and it seems like if it's attack if it adds any more attack they just combine it all right let's take a look at his abilities so first off we've got his signature ability and i've been asked this question does he need to be awakened no he does not but it helps a lot so just awakening him will cause his locked on ability to last two seconds longer. That does not increase with SIG level. So at SIG level one, he's going to still add two seconds to his locked on. All right. Now, what does go up is the critical rating. So he's going to be doing more damage. He's going to crit more often. And that is how you do more damage. I took mine up recently uh, and maxed out his SIG. And you can see the critical rating that is uh, added now, 1861.69. All right. Remember I told you when we were looking at it that he has uh, an ability that will increase that. Well, that's one of them. Okay. Now, um, enhanced synergy bonuses. He's a master scout, always ready to lend a hand. And they all provide 3% attack rating. We've already talked about that. All right. So but that's actually here in his abilities. 
that all is synergy. So uh, I could only assume if they uh, add another synergy, they don't necessarily have to explicitly say it because it's part of his kit that his synergy bonuses are going to provide 3% attack rating each. So they stack. All right. Now, one of the major things, and I would say the defining ability for Falcon is the locked on. Okay. That lock on is activated by dashing back and holding block for 1.2 seconds. Now, a lot of people don't like that. It, it, it can be cumbersome. It can break up the flow, but normally uh, if you get used to it uh, and the AI is not being that aggressive, you can do this without any difficulty. What I found was I would start to a uh, hold and they would dash at me and attack. And I would either have to dash back if I didn't want to take a lot of block damage or just take the block damage, get the locked on and then go in. Okay. So your style is going to depend on the fight. Uh, if they can do a lot of damage through your block, then you don't want to take that block damage. So you might have to try to, you know, parry, dash back, do something, you know, uh, uh, to get that off. Uh, so it can be a little annoying depending on what the AI is doing. So why do I say that his lock-on ability is his defining ability? Well, if you read that last sentence right there, while lock-on is active, Falcon's attacks passively reduce the opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 100%. I remember OG Black Widow. She did that without having to do anything but max out her sig. And she was highly useful. She was brought all the time to deal with electros and uh, anyone really that had any kind of damage back like that uh, or an evade, she could shut them down. Uh, she was very useful. They took that away, put it on a percentage and now they've brought it back, but they've given it a cooldown. But that right there has so many applications. And at the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the different things that he can shut down uh, because of it. And it won't be an exhaustive list, but that is Falcon's defining ability. Okay, uh, Lock-On gains 40% duration while fighting science champions. So it's gonna last even longer against science champions, which is great uh, if you're fighting Spider-Man, Miles Morales, you know, um, you know, uh, a, a Rhino, all of these guys. Um, but it suffers 20% uh, duration when fighting mutants. So it's going to be a little bit shorter uh, duration when you're fighting a mutant. Now, once it expires, it will go on cooldown for eight seconds and then you can do it again. Eight seconds is not really that long of a time. And you can still fight while you're waiting for it to come off cooldown. Now, here's the other thing. Remember I said that he had abilities that would increase his critical rating and his critical damage? Uh, not critical damage, but his attack. Uh, here, his basic attacks gain 3,152 attack rating while locked on is um, uh, to the opponent, while locked on to the opponent. So, you want to attack, and this is just a general rule here. You want to do your attacks, your special attacks, and all of that while you are locked on to your opponent. Okay, so that's just something in general. If you have a special and it's on cooldown, wait. Get the uh, locked on uh, active again, then fire your special. All right, now... When your opponent evades, this is interesting. This is what I was referring to when I mentioned that he had abilities that would increase his critical rating as well as his critical damage rating. We saw how his uh, critical rating uh, would be increased, but here is something 
that will increase his critical damage rating indefinitely when the opponent evades. Okay, every time they trigger a passive evade, uh, it will increase his critical damage rating by 134 indefinitely. So it's going to stack. It's going to just keep ramping up his critical damage rating. Uh, while Red Wing is active, any evade that the opponent fails to trigger will increase Falcon's critical damage rating by the same 134 indefinitely. So basically, whether they evade or whether their evade fails, his critical damage rating is going to go up. So lock on to your opponent. And if they're an evade champion, every time that evade fails because they're locked on, you're going to just keep getting more and more critical damage rating. So your crits will go up and up and up, okay? Uh, special attacks, they all gain something additional, uh, and they call it here zeroed in effects, but basically when you have a lock on your opponent, here are some extra things that they do. So the special attack one is gonna inflict a bleed, okay? But if they are locked on or zeroed in, as it says, it will inflict an additional bleed. So again, you want to use these special attacks and all attacks really when they're locked on. Uh, there Now there may be a reason that you fire these off when they're not locked on, but to maximize your effectiveness, that's what you wanna do. Special attack two, uh, physical re resistance is reduced. So that means you're gonna be doing more damage during that attack. Uh, and if you have the lock on, it's going to increase your critical damage rating during that attack. And remember, these things stack. So uh, if they've been evading a lot, uh, you're gonna have a higher critical damage rating then you fire a special two off, which reduces their physical resistance. Then you get that bonus critical damage rating. So you're gonna hit really hard, okay? And the second hit of the attack, if you've seen his special, he has a two hit. The second hit will definitely crit. Now, it says 100% chance to crit. I don't know if that's affected by uh, critical resistance of your opponent or not, okay? But uh, you're gonna do a lot of damage, a lot of damage. And then finally, the special attack three uh, will inflict an incinerate debuff, okay? And it'll also remove a perfect block chance and reduce block proficiency by 50%. Again, that means you're gonna be hitting harder, okay? Um, and if they were locked on or zeroed in, then for 25 seconds, they're going to have a vulnerability, not invulnerability, but a vulnerability, <laughs> sorry, vulnerability uh, debuff. Attacking a vulnerable opponent grants even more critical damage rating and reduces block proficiency by 50%. So you fire off a special three, and then you can just start going to town if they're locked on you're gonna be doing a lot of damage. All right, so that is Falcon uh, after his rework. Some of his abilities uh, were there even before, like how he handled evade champions. Uh, that was there. A lot of people didn't know about it because he didn't make you know the high tier lists of, of um, uh, many uh, YouTubers, but he still had that utility and he was great for countering evaders. Now, he is great for countering a lot of things. All right, so we're gonna go and uh, go into some gameplay, and I have a treat for you. It won't be Realm of Legends. We are gonna actually go into map seven and fight on a path in map seven with Epic Modifiers active. So stay tuned, and we will be right back. All right, so this was not planned. I woke up this morning and found out that one of my Alliance mates had taken my path. And so I was asked to take this path here. All right, so look at the modifiers we're dealing with. Parry Curse, which I often forget. Pull, 
and protective shielding. All right. So pull and daredevil don't seem to mix. You want to do more damage, but he evades projectiles. So watch this. I'm going to dash back, whole block. There we go. He's locked on. And now I can just go to town. Look at the uh, crits. But the important thing is when I get my special right here. All right. Um, he will not be able to evade my specials. Uh, now, right there, I think I had uh, parried him so he was stunned. And see, right here, I forgot about parry curse. And then, of course, I got stunned right after it. Uh, so that kind of woke me up. This was, I believe, my first fight of the day, too. Um, and I am running suicide. So I'm going to be taking damage, recoil damage every time I fire my special off. And just damage because of the double edge and liquid courage debuffs uh, that I have on me. Bleed and poison. Uh, but as you can see, we took down Daredevil without too much difficulty. Now, he's not the only one that can do this. Um, now, he also is great for other uh, nodes that we'll talk about a little bit later uh, after this. Now, Miles Morales can be very annoying. If you know anything about him, you know how much he evades. So I'm going to lock on as fast as possible. Here we go. I took some hits on my block, but now he's not evading. He will not evade. This is a better showcase of what Falcon can do than just Winter Soldier in Realm of Legends. Okay, so you see here, look at that bleed damage. Done. Okay, I fired it off while I had my opponent locked on, and we just wrecked him. Now, this is day one, so, you know, they don't have uh, large health pools, and I won't be taking this path uh, on the later days, but Falcon is a very good option for this path, all right? So now we've got Ghost, and my health is uh, a little low, and I just want to see how much Falcon can do, and like I said, I messed up, and today is Parry Curse, so that made it a little bit more uh, challenging. And I'm still new to fighting with uh, Falcon. All right. And you see there, we just wrecked her. That was, that was nice, smooth, and clean. Still took uh, the bleed damage and the poison damage and all that. But the fight went pretty well. I don't know how well he would do uh, with the bigger health pools, but I think he will do pretty well. All right. So now I'm already hurt. And you see, I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, how at the duck, really? Don't want to push him to a special two, that's for sure. All right, he's got enhanced armor up. Uh, aggression armor. Don't really care if we can get bleeds on him, but again, I'm low. I run suicides. Firing specials is going to hurt. All right, so uh, what I'm trying to do here is basically get my in. And I did parry him a couple of times. All right, and now I want to try to cycle his special ones. Okay, get that special one off. Just keep going, keep pushing to a special one. Look at all those bleeds. That is nice, okay? And then just basically keep doing that. And now we're gonna need to do some uh, intercepts. He didn't punish me there. I was just punching the air for no reason. All right, and here we go. I cannot take another uh, you know, a few blocked hits, I don't believe, at this point. And uh, just cycling those special ones. And then I'm going to go for broke here. Special two to finish it. And he's down. All right. So uh, a little test of Falcon that I hadn't been uh, planning to do, but worked out pretty well. Now, that's the last fight that I did with Falcon there. I used Corvus, who could also do this path, uh, against that rhino because i already knew that i wouldn't survive I, I couldn't take the blocked hits it's parry curse wouldn't have been a good time all right uh so falcon after the rework and because of the lock on ability being able to reduce the defensive ability accuracy by 100 percent, he is a utility god okay electro you won't have to worry about the damage back from electro um, thing, he is one of the better thing counters now because it shuts down things, uh, and I'm talking about the lock on ability, 
it shuts down things, uh, rock charges. So he does not gain any rock charges. I don't believe he procs protection. It is a good time when you lock on against thing. Okay. Um, mix master node. He can shut that down. You already saw what he could do to evaders shuts them down. Um, just so many. Now I sometimes get confused between the defensive ability, accuracy, um, abilities and the offensive ability. Um, some champions, it's a defensive ability. Some champions, it's an offensive ability. You may think that something is an offensive ability, but when it's actually a defensive one. So you may be surprised taking uh, Falcon in and finding out it shuts it down. It's like little Easter eggs. It's, it's awesome. So he has a lot of utility. So that is why I took him up. And I expect that I'm going to be using him quite often. Now, of course, my suicide makes it a little bit less desirable uh, to fight with him, but I'm going to still continue doing it. Uh, he's not suicide friendly, but I think he is enough that I can run suicides and do a few fights uh, with him. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you have learned more about Falcon and you know why he is a utility god. All right, so take care. Click like if you enjoyed the video, found it informative. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.